to walk these roads with you Can't remember the last time I went without you So I'm starting out with the eyes because I'm doing quite a dramatic eye look. I wanted to begin with those. So I'm priming using Benefits Air Patrol Eye Primer and I'm just applying that using my finger. Then I'm taking some scotch tape and I'm just applying a little bit to the corners of my eyes to create the nice line. Then I'm going into my Z palette full of Makeup Geek eyeshadows. So I'm taking uh, Mirage and I'm just setting the entire eyelid using that shade. Then I'm taking Peach Smoothie on a Sigma E40 brush and I'm just buffing this quite messily above and into the crease. Once I've got the transition shade down, I'm taking Frappe, which is also from Makeup Geek, and I am using the same E40 brush and just buffing this into the crease, but keeping it a little bit more precise into the crease and yeah just buffing it all out then I'm taking the shade Morocco which is this beautiful orangey shade and I'm doing the exact same thing just keeping it a little bit more precise as I get darker with my colors so as you can see I'm also bringing it right the way into the inner corner of the eye then I'm taking Americano on a E25 blending brush and this is much more of a precise blending brush so as you can see I'm starting to carve out the crease with that brush then taking chickadee on the E40 brush once again I'm just using this above all of those shades just to add a little bit more warmth into the crease and then going back in with Morocco and just adding a little bit more of the oranginess that got blended away Then I'm taking Americano once again on this Sigma cut crease brush which is absolutely amazing for creating a cut crease guys. I could not recommend this brush more, you honestly need it if you want to be the cut crease queen. And I'm just using it to literally carve out where I want my crease to be and bringing it into a bit of a wing in the outer corner. Then I'm taking the shade Corrupt which is a matte black on the same cut crease brush and I'm just intensifying that cut crease look so I'm taking my time and really carving out the crease and trying to make it as seamless as possible and then I'm just taking a dense blender brush and just blending that line very very slightly because we still want it to be harsh just not too 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 harsh. Then I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair Neutral to carve out the crease. So I'm just applying this with a concealer brush from Sigma. I applied it on the back of my hand first and then just picked it up onto the brush. And then, yeah, I'm just pretty much carving underneath where we've created that line. Then just going back in with the same cut crease brush, I'm just deepening up that line and making sure that the edge was nice and seamless. Then I'm going into the Urban Decay After Dark palette and I'm taking this peachy golden pinky shade and I'm packing this right onto the lid and bringing it just to my outer corner and yeah I'm just really trying to pack the color on because it's quite sheer but it's a beautiful like duochrome color so I really wanted to use it. Then to create my winged eyeliner, I'm using the Sigma Gel Liner in black and just a angled eyeliner brush from Sigma. And I'm just creating the wing along the edge of the tape, but I'm not bringing it up to touch where my cut crease is, if that makes any sense. Then I'm just tight lining using the Tarte Man Eater Eyeliner. And I'm just curling my eyelashes and applying a coat of the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, which is also from Tarte. And the falsies that I used are the Model Rock number 43 lashes. Now moving on to the face, I'm priming using my Bare Minerals Prime Time in the neutralizing shade and just being careful not to ruin my eyebrows and my eyes. And then for foundation, I'm mixing the EX1 Invisiwear foundation 
and the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops and I'm just dotting that all over my face and blending it in using a round top face brush from Sigma and this just gives me the perfect full coverage look that I was going for. Then to do some cream contouring I'm using my Tardis Pro Glow palette and I'm using this brush from Sigma which the name will be listed right now. I can never remember the names, I'm so sorry guys, but it's an amazing brush so I'm using that to apply the product and then I'm using the F05 I believe this one is. Um, it is a small contour brush just to blend it all out and yeah I love this product, it just gives me the most beautiful bronzed glow and carved out cheekbones ever. Then I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape to conceal and highlight. As you can see, this is quite a lot lighter than my skin tone. I didn't realize how light it was until I was using it, but you know, we just went for the extra highlighted look. And I also used a very small concealer brush on the edge of my eyes just so I didn't disrupt any of the cut crease, you know, winged out eye look that I had going on. Then to set all of those areas and the rest of my face, I'm using this Astralis Pressed Powder in I believe natural and I'm using a tapered highlighter brush to set sm the smaller areas of my face and then I'm using a F10 brush to set the rest of my face. And then I'm taking the Pro Glow palette once again and just using the powder contour shade. I'm so sorry if you can hear my cat in the background, she's being so naughty. Um, but I'm just carving out my cheekbones and around my forehead, my temples and just setting all of the areas where I clean contoured. Then for blush, I took MAC Melba blush, which is a beautiful matte peachy tone blush, and I'm just applying that to the apples of my cheeks and blending it back towards my hairline. And then I took the shade, I think this one's called Stunner from the Pro Glow palette. It's one of my favorite highlights ever, as you can see, it's so, so beautiful. And I highlighted the tops of my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, my chin, my nose, and above the arches of my eyebrows. Where do I go from here? Then I decided to do my lips before finishing off my eyes, so I'm lining them using the Rimmel Lip Liner in the shade Natural, so just outlining the entire lip. And then I'm using the Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade uh, Magic Wand, I think this one is, which is a beautiful nude. And then moving on to the lower lash line, I mixed Frappe and Morocco together. And just on an E25 brush from Sigma, I'm buffing that all the way underneath the lower lash line. And then using Americano on a little E20 smudge brush, I'm just smudging that into my lower lash line really, really close and just making it a little bit more smoky. And then going in with Corrupt on an E30 pencil brush, I'm just buffing this into the lash line again and just joining it up where my winged liner is. Then I'm taking Shimmer Shimmer on this tiny little baby fan brush which is the cutest thing ever and it works so perfectly for the brow bone. So I'm just highlighting the brow bone. And then I took this shade from the After Dark palette which is a gorgeous golden yellowy highlight. And I just highlighted the inner corners of my eyes. And then I just lined my waterline using the same black liner I used earlier and applied some lower lash mascara. And that completes this cut crease look. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I will see you very soon. Bye.